What is going on you guys? Steven from Optic Fishing. Today we're at Lake Kachuma. It has been a while since we've been up here. We are up here a little bit later. I think it's about eight o'clock right now. Usually we're up here at like four o'clock. We are gonna be hitting it from the shore today, no boat. But uh, we got a whole squad with us here. We got Nick, my cousin, Ryan, and we got Nate down there. And we got Kobe over here throwing an A-rig around. Yeah, hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully we catch some fish. Thank you guys for 500 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also go check out my latest post. I did post a couple of Casitas videos just updating you guys on the water levels and everything. Down below who's gonna slay it, cause I'll, I'll slay it. Yeah, comment down below right now who do you think's gonna catch the most fish today? Cause Brian usually kills it out here. The water levels aren't as high as I was expecting them to be after the rain, it's still pretty low out here. But uh, the conditions are nice, the water's nice and flat. Weather's perfect. We're gonna be throwing a combination of drop shots, jigs, a bunch of different stuff, lures, crankbaits. Like I said, Kobe's throwing that A-rig over there. Hopefully my little cousin Nick will catch a fish. Nick, you think you're gonna catch a fish today? Hopefully. Nick, when's the last time you caught a bass? Probably Westlake. Nick Westlake? Yeah, probably my five pounder at Westlake. Yep, so it's been a while for Nick, so hopefully Nick catches his first fish in 2022. I'm gonna be trying for trout a little bit today. I'm gonna cast my power bait out right now. I'm gonna have my power bait out throughout the day and uh, see if I can catch a trout, see if I can catch a bass and uh, hopefully it's a good day. All right, so the first time I cast out was my power bait and got it all pushed on the hook here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out. All right, so the first color robot I'm gonna be throwing is this salt and pepper chartreuse color. It's got like white and black flake on the top, green and black on the bottom. If you haven't checked out my most recent Kachuma videos, I'll leave the links for those in the description. Go check those out, we absolutely kill it. And uh, yeah, it's the first thing I'm gonna be throwing today. All right, so I tried the drop shot for about 10 minutes, no bites or anything, so I'm gonna switch it up to this wacky rig right here. Smaller size Senko with the uh, little Neko weight adder with the little finesse adders as well. I have caught fish before on this type of rig here. It was a long time ago, so let's try it again, see if anything happens. All right, so the first spot we hit didn't work out too good. We kept getting stuck and the bite just doesn't seem to be on this morning, but uh, that's usually how it is out here. Usually the bite doesn't pick up till around 10 or 11. Um, we did try this spot for about a half hour. We didn't get any bites, just kept losing our setups, kept getting stuck. Nick lost like, Nick, how many setups do you think you lost? Probably five. Probably about five. Brian lost a couple. Everybody here got stuck and lost their setups. So we're gonna move to a spot where we absolutely killed it before in the video. I'll leave the link to that video on the top of the description. So check that out. We probably caught like 30 fish in this spot we're about to move to. So this is the next spot we're gonna try. We've been here multiple times. It is a lot deeper here. Hopefully we catch a fish here. I think the fish are really deep today. We're gonna be throwing drop shots, same old stuff. Brian, what are you throwing right now? Drop shot, prison chad, robo worm. Brian's throwing a drop shot, prison chad. And uh, Kobe's throwing the A-rig. Nate's throwing God knows what and um, Nick is throwing a drop shot. So uh, let's see if we can catch fish over here. It is about 10 o'clock, as you can tell the sun is up. Yeah, it's really deep. Yeah, it's extremely deep over here, so I don't know, this could be the spot, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna be throwing the jig for the first time today. Got the little Bitsy Bug uh, jig on here, I think it's by Strike King. This combo does work out here, I've caught a couple fish on this, so I'm gonna throw this first and then probably go back to the drop shot if I don't get anything on this. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Dude, that was a straight bite. Oh, wait, hold on. Dude, bro, that was a straight bite. All right, so we're back at the car, as you guys could obviously tell, but uh, the lake seems really dead today. I did get one bite on a jig, but none of these guys got any bites or any fish, so it is a really slow day, unfortunately. We are gonna go try another spot, grab some food really quick. After this, if we don't catch anything at the next spot we're going to, we're gonna head down the mountain a little bit and hit this river that we've been to. Apparently, there's smallmouth in there, so we're gonna give that a shot. And uh, if that doesn't work out, then we're gonna be hitting the Santa Barbara Harbor. But uh, overall, really slow day. Hopefully one of us can catch our first fish of 2022. And uh, yeah, just a really slow day. So we're gonna go grab food, head to another spot. And uh, like I said, if it doesn't work out, we're gonna leave. All right, so we went to the store, grabbed some chips and stuff to eat. And uh, this is gonna be our last spot we try out here. It's kind of like a shorey area. Um, I'm gonna be casting my power bit out, see if I can get a trout. It's gonna be kind of our little last ditch effort here at Kachuma to catch a fish. We've only been skunked here one time. And uh, so far how the day is going, looks like this might be our second time. I'm gonna get my power bait set up, let that sit out there for a while try the drop shot, try the jig. And uh, I've actually been throwing a wacky rig around today as well, but I haven't got anything on that obviously. And uh, yeah, really slow day out here. But uh, we're gonna try the spot and then move down the mountain, either hit that river I was talking about or uh, go to the Santa Barbara Harbor. So we'll see how the day goes. All right, we're just accepting the skunk out here at Kachuma. This rarely happens to us, but uh, yeah, we didn't catch a fish out here. We are gonna move down the mountain to that one river I was talking about. And uh, if that doesn't work out, we're probably gonna go hit the Santa Barbara Harbor. But uh, yeah, bummer day out here, no fish. I only got that one bite. Kobe was throwing that A-rig he's got right there. And uh, Brian was throwing a lot of drop shots. Nate was throwing a lot of jigs. Nick was doing his own thing. I don't know what he was up to. Robo worms. Robo worms. Nick, how do you feel about today? Dud. It's a dud. A dud day? I was not expecting this out of Kachuma. I don't know, seriously. Usually when we come up here, we do catch fish. Springtime, it should be on. Water levels are up a little bit, nothing crazy. I was expecting it to be up higher, but uh, the water is cleared up. For those of you guys wondering. Yeah, we're gonna call the day out here at Kachuma and head to that river. So the river we were going to go to is closed, so now we are down here at the Santa Barbara Harbor. It is getting dark pretty soon here, so we're only going to be down here for a little bit, throwing some swim baits and some cast masters and stuff around. Let's see if we can uh, save the day here and catch a fish. 
All right, Brian's gonna use this glow in the dark swim bait. That's it. Whoa. That's insane. Damn, that's insane. <laughs> that should definitely get bit, oh, dude. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go walk down there and uh, see if we can catch a fish. All right, so I got my cousin Nick tied up with one of these uh, tube jigs, which I have gotten bit on before here. So Nick's gonna be throwing that out in the middle, and uh, I'm gonna be using this little cast master for a little bit. This thing's actually got some pretty good action. It's really shiny. I've caught a couple trout on these before, and I got bit at Casitas on the trout on this. So I'm gonna be giving this one a shot. So you get a first cast. You can send it all the way down. <laughs> Let's go. Did you get it? Woo! Dude, he's decent. There we go, Brian. Is that a calico? That's a decent sand bass. Sure. Nice, nice one. one, baby. Nice one. Good stuff right there. Good job, Brian. Got the swim bait in his mouth. Brian's out here breaking the skunk. Let me see him again. <laughs> dude, he's pretty. Nice one, dude. He's decent. Hold him up one more time. Let me see him. Woo, he's pretty. Dude, that's a dude. good fish right there, Brian. Nice right. little fight. You ready? ready to go? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. You got it right? Yeah, I did. Good, <laughs> good fish, Brian. Fuck yeah. There good go, fish. Boys. Brian broke the, the Yeah, broke the skunk. All right, so Brian just caught that bass on a little swim bait. I'm going to switch up from the cast master to this glow in the dark swim bait. Right now, it's not doing much. I'm going to light it up and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's all glowing. I don't really have any flashlights for this, so I'm just going to use my phone light. Get the tail really good. You can see that already, it's glowing crazy. All right, so, and this is the swim bait all lit up. We'll throw it in the water so you guys can see what it looks like swimming around. Look how crazy that is. That's absolutely insane. So I don't see why I shouldn't be getting bit on this. So I'm gonna throw this guy around for a little bit and then maybe switch it up to a normal swim bait. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night out here at the Santa Barbara Harbor. Brian killed it with that one sand bass. Oh, dude. Right now we're just messing with the fish down here. With our swim baits. I don't know if you can see that swim bait. But there's a bunch of little fish going after our swim baits. Yeah, Brian did uh, catch the one fish of the day, so props to Brian. Yeah. Kachuma was completely Yeah, Brian's always slain it. Kachuma was completely dead. I did get that one bite, and that was it. Other than that, nothing at all. My friend was even out in a boat and didn't get anything. Kachuma should be turning on in the springtime, just like Casitas. I know it's like that kind of off season. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. It's just a really slow day besides the one fish Brian caught. I did just hit 500 subscribers. Thank you to all you guys that subscribed to me. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video. I don't know where we're going to be fishing next or if we are going to be soon because uh, the bass fishing has just been off at every lake out here. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.